What's up, everyone? It's your boy Shadow the Archangel, aka Style Friends, and you're watching Style Vlogs. Thank you again for tuning in. And before we get started, make sure that you smash the like button, hit the sub button, and tell me I'm stupid. Tell me anything. Talk to me. Talk to me. So, what are we talking about today? We're talking about strong masculine leadership with a democratic force. And why am I talking about this? Am I a chauvinist? Am I uh, my cheesy mo? Am I? you know, do not believe women are incapable of leadership or anything else? No, it's not the case. The reason I am presenting this is because historically there have only been a few matriar matriarchies that we can even mention that have had success. One, um, Chinese Wu Zetian. Wu Zetian was uh, the first woman to ever just declare herself an emperor, a pure emperor. Um, there's also Queen Elizabeth in Britain. There's also um, other examples, but looking at the historical precedent again, those societies have not lasted the test of time. Wu Zetian is obviously replaced by male leadership that is increasingly growing in strength, dominance, and global pressures. There is also an example of the us United States of America, arguably one of the greatest empires in history because it is still going and it's still running and it was established by strong central masculine leadership. There's nuances we can get into with racism and white supremacy, all that good stuff, but nonetheless, still strong masculine leadership. Because in the face of what makes a society able to practice these liberal ideas, which is the military strength to protect its border, to protect its ideal, to protect its sovereignty. But once those things start to get threatened with, let's say feminism, feminine, feminism and feminizing the masculine force, your army, you've feminized your army. You've made your army now want to appeal to people's emotions and empathy too much, where certain people and countries do not respect empathy. They don't come to the table unless you have something that makes you have leverage. Give you a anecdotal experience. Me and my mother, my mother was a single black woman for a long time before that she found her husband. We used to be in homeless shelters at a time when we were going through tough times. I had a legal gun. I had a legal 45. When we used to go to these home, homeless shelters, um, there were a lot of men and there were a lot of women, right? Because it was like one of them types of shelters. The men found out that I had a 45. Once the men found out I had a 45, they stopped approaching my mom in a disrespectful way. They approached my mom with the utmost respect, the utmost everything, and also helped my mom's own societal, you know, upgrade in the, the homeless shelter, the homeless situation, because they knew her son had the military force to protect and back up her will, if need be. That's a shallow anecdotal experience, but that is, just how it is with countries. Countries don't respect empathy just by name. They respect empathy because we have the force to cause cataclysmic and Armageddon destruction on the entire earth. That is where our respect comes from, that we can practice these liberal and these philosophies because we have the military force to back it up. What happens when you lose that? What happens when you lose that advantage because you feminize your population? But their population is more masculine. They have bigger guns, bigger army. Your free philosophies, you can't enforce them no more because you feminized your masculine population. You told them it was wrong to be the very thing that allows you to spew your free thoughts. It's okay to be a man. A man. That is this whole video. 
feel free to leave your comments. This is not just about dating. This is not just about the shallow competition of the sexes. This is about survival and understanding certain things need to be fluid. And the fluid understanding of a masculine, strong leadership versus other masculine, strong leaderships is historical. Thank you again for watching Style Vlogs. This is Shadow the Archangel. Make sure you click all the links in the descriptions. I try to make a video short, but this is the best version. And I'm sorry. We out. Now.